Hi friends, this is Arvijan here. Welcome to my networking channel. Hope all are doing well and safe. And today let us discuss about BGP root reflector. So before that, let us see what is full mesh IBGP neighbor relationship. In a full mesh, each and every router will be in full mesh with all other router, right? So the number of I, as the number of IBGP pairings increase, it is definitely going to result in loops. So to avoid a full mesh IBGP neighbor relationship and to prevent loops, we are using root reflector. So this is an architecture where I connected R1, R2, and R3. So all these three routers are in the same autonomous system number one, right? So R2 is a root reflector, and these R1 and R3 are the root reflector clients. So whenever the R1 sends an updater to a root reflector R2, so this routes will be reflected back to the clients, right? So that is the purpose of root reflector. So this is more or less like a client-server relationship. So this is a server acting as server R2, and R1 and R3 are the root reflector clients. So now let us go to the configuration. So let us go to the R1 and let us configure the individual BGP neighbor relationship router BGP1. And the neighbor is 192.168.1.2 and the remote AS is 1, right? It is a IBGB neighbor relationship. So then we'll configure the R3 and we'll configure the neighbor relationship. Go to R3. This is also in a same autonomous system number. R router BGP1 and the neighbor is 192.168.2.1, right? So the neighbor is 192.168.2.1 and the remote AS is 1. Same autonomous system, right? It is an IBGB neighbor. So now I'm going to configure R2. This is a root reflector. This is acting as a server, right? So we'll configure the root reflector and the root reflector clients. So let us go to R2 and configure router BGP1. And now let us configure the neighbor. Neighbor is 192.168.1.1, right? This is the root reflector client, right? So first we'll configure the remote AS. Yes, it is lying in autonomous system number one, and followed by this, I have to configure as a root reflector client. Root reflector client. Similar way for R2, it has another client 2.2, right? So again, go to configuration mode, router BGP1, and neighbor is 2.2. So 2.2 and the remote autonomous system number is 1, right? All are in IBGB in relationship 2.2. And we have to configure this as a root reflector client. This is also root reflector client 2.2. So this is a root reflector client, client acting as server. So whenever the client's R1 sends an update, the R2 will reflect back the update to the R3, right? So this R3 will R2 will be having the client relationship, server client relationship. So this is mainly the purpose of root reflector to prevent the full mesh and to prevent the loop. Mainly to avoid the full mesh and to prevent the loops, we are using the root reflector. Yeah, so now let us configure the individual prefixes. So at least let us advertise the prefix. Go to router VGP1. Let us advertise the prefixes 1.1.1. This is a loopback address I already defined. And the mask is 255.255.255. .255 .255. Similar way, go to R2. Go to configuration mode and router router BGP1 and let us advertise the prefix as 2.2.2 and the mask is 255.255.255. So now we are done with the configuration. Now let us check the neighbor relationship, right? Show IP BGP all summary. Yeah, the neighbor is active and we will check the root reflector client. Show IP BGP all summary. Yeah, you are able to see the root reflector clients and all are the above the clients are up. So R3 also, it has one IBGB neighbor, right? So this is also up. So what we can do now, we can check the root reflector client. Show IP, I advertise the prefix, right? Show IP BGP 1.1.1. So it is a originated from the prefix. So we are seeing next up as 0.0.0. .0, and let us check show IP BGP, right? And similar way, let us go here and check the show IP BGP. See, we are able to see that it is received from an RR client. So these are the client. It is receiving the prefix from the RR client. That is 192.1.1. So these are the route reflector client and this is server. R2 is a server. So it is receiving the prefix from the client, right? That is 1.1 .1 is nothing but the remote neighbor. That is a route reflector client it is receiving the prefix similarly let us check whether it is advertising prefix to 2.2 right so show ip bgp neighbors 
192.168.2.2 and let us see the advertised routes so we are able to it is also advertising the route to 2.2 .2, right that is a r3 route so the route reflector is working properly this is r2 acting as a route reflector and these are the route reflector clients and it is it is receiving the update and the updates are reflected back to the r3 that is another route reflector client so that's the thing we are seeing and another thing i want to show is a show ip bgp let us go to r3 so the two things you have to remember about route reflector one is an originator id so that is set by the route reflector so the originator id is nothing but a router id of r1 so this is an originator id that is 1.1.1 and always the cluster list cluster is nothing but the router id of the root reflector that is r2 right r2 root reflector is 2.2.2 that is a router id so these are the two things you have to keep it in mind so what happen if the root reflector goes down so the similar way i can configure multiple route reflector and i can establish a full mesh ibgp neighbor relationship between these route reflectors so the main purpose of route reflector to avoid a full mesh ibgp neighbor relationship and to prevent the loops I hope you understood. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me for more videos. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.